have you ever wanted to use AI in your mobile app or your Adalo web app? Maybe you've never thought about it, maybe it's something you really want to do, but at the moment AI is a very rapidly evolving area and within the next few years pretty much all startups are going to be using AI in one way or another and there are a lot of very cool tools out there. In this video we're going to talk about using open AI. It's actually much much easier than you think if you've never looked at AI. So let's get going. The first thing you need to do of course is to be signing up for an account. Let's have a quick look at the pricing here. And the main thing you need to know is it pays you go and you're going to start with about $18 of free credit. There's different models on OpenAI and they all cost a different amount. DaVinci here is the most powerful model and probably the one you want to use, especially when you're starting out, just so you can see the capability. And the pricing is for a thousand tokens and tokens depends on the length of your query and the length of the response. But for a lot of use cases, I think it's rather cheap. And certainly out of my $18 of free credit, I've used probably only about $2. So you want to click on get started, make sure you're all signed up and then log in. Once you're all logged in, there's a lot of guidance documents and examples, tutorials that maybe you want to get to grips with. Personally, I didn't do much of that and I went straight to the playground where you can basically just get started. So uh, you can see the prompt, write a tagline for an ice cream shop is their example. Let's see what that does. I never tried it. Write a tagline for an ice cream shop. Okay, and then you press submit. <laughs> okay, the best ice cream in town. Um, an important thing to notice is this one here, temperature. Um, temperature um, defines how creative the AI is going to be. So let's change that to one, delete the response and see if there's any difference. Okay, if it's not ice cream, it's not worth eating. Okay, that's pretty cool, that's pretty creative. A lot of people don't realize that AI is rapidly getting a lot better um, and OpenAI really is quite good. Uh, the quality of your response that you get from the AI very much depends on the prompt here. So um, you want to spend some time in the playground really experimenting with the questions you ask the AI. And then once you've done a fair bit of experimentation, we're going to show how to do this via the API from your Adalo app. So let's try another one. Um, create a video introduction for a hair salon. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I'm John, owner of John's hair salon. Okay, so you can see it can do a lot of different stuff. I don't know what your app is, but I'm sure you can think of something cool. Um, also, you can change the maximum length here. Um, the, the longer that is, the more it's going to cost you. And unless you're writing full blog posts, um, maybe keep it fairly short. I tend to. So um, let's try something longer though. Write a blog post about why avocados are good for you. Okay, and there we go. Look at that. Um, even after using this for a long time, it, it makes me smile. It, uh, it's really cool. All right, so have a go in the playground, get used to it, and now I'll show you how to use that within your Adalo app. So um, one thing to know is, of course, they've got documentation here, but what we can do here is just go to view code and here this is telling us what um, you know what our custom action should look like in Adalo. By the way if you use Xano or Postman the um, you can copy the curl straight into either of those and it'll set up your query automatically 
Um, in Adalo, we don't have that functionality, so we're going to be building that from scratch. All right, so we want to go back to our app here and um, let's have a text input for the prompt and a button it's gonna say go okay and let's just rename the text input to prompt as good practice and let's go and create uh, sorry custom action new custom action okay I'm just gonna call it open AI test and it will be type create let's go back here to the playground where we clicked on view codes we got this and that there is going to be our base URL okay and the method is post and what next we need um, two headers content type and authorization so let's add content type application JSON and then our header authorization and then it's bearer space and then your API key okay so you're gonna have to go and get the API key from your account so um, let's do that now so if you click at the top right here you can see there's um, an option for view API keys okay and then you've got your secret key here and you can click on copy and post um, copy that into the authorization here okay and as best practice with custom actions as always um, delete any extra spaces um, and make it again between bearer and the key it's just a weird thing that happens when you copy and paste into custom actions in a all right so this is set up um, with our headers and then next we're going to need um, our prompt again so um, write a tagline for furniture store all right I just want some sample data here furniture fits your life awesome let's go to view code and you can see we need our model our prompt temperature max token so these are all the options we're seeing on the right hand side now the part we can post is the JSON so we can switch from curl to JSON here and this part we can use as our body in a Dalo which is great because it saves us some time alright so you can be hard coding these in there or you can add them as an inputs up here now I'm pretty sure um, we're gonna want the prompt of course um, so write a tagline for an ice cream shop okay when setting up custom actions I actually recommend you um, you do when you set it up have as many of these as possible so maybe put all of these into the input items but for the sake of a video I'm just going to take up your time doing that so there's not much point and the most important thing here to show you to get it working is the prompt okay and I might just add the temperature um, that's something that I tend to change quite a lot okay temperatures always between 0 and 1 okay so example value is going to be 0 0.9 so let's change that temperature there to temperature okay I accidentally deleted a comma so make sure I put that back and I think we're ready to test so let's see um, our prompt is the old tagline for an ice cream shop let's see what it gives us okay moment of truth there's no such thing as too much ice cream wow okay making me hungry 
All right, and we are kind of done. So we can put, um, fill in the input data here. Uh, temperature, um, I don't have an input for it, but I'm just gonna hard code that as 0 0.9. But when you've already set it up like this, it means you don't have to keep going back into the custom action and testing it. Okay, and we're probably going to want to do something without response, so I'm going to have another text input here. Um, I'll just call it the response. Okay, and so after that custom action, let's have another action. Um, change input value of the response and go to OpenAI test or whatever you called it and I think it was, was it choices.txt? Object created, da, 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 da. I think it was. Okay, let's test it out. Okay, as a prompt, let's say, why is digital marketing important? And let's see what happens. Okay, and we've got our response from OpenAI. Wow, um, that was really nice and easy to set up. Um, don't be intimidated by trying AI in a Dalo. Actually, a couple of my really old videos did use AI if you're interested. I had one that used Google Vision to detect unsafe content from your user images. Um, I also had one to uh, detect the registration plates of, um, of cars. Um, so yeah, have a go. Look to implement AI into your Adalo app. Um, you're gonna have some fun doing it and if you're like me, it's gonna blow your mind a bit. I'm like, wow, this is really impressive stuff. So that's all for now. Don't forget you've got the OpenAI um, documentation and let me know in the comments if you'd like more of this kind of material or if you've got any questions for me. Okay, see you next time.